If anyone doesn't know what an archetype is, it's a psychoanalytic concept that was proposed by Carl Jung, or at least has become famously popularized by Carl Jung. And an archetype is a little different than a meme. So a, a meme might be a, a cultural unit of information, something that we something that we might learn and pass on to each other, uh, an idea. And an archetype is a little more robust and it's a little more um, trans-historical. And what that means is that archetypes are kind of like patterns of ideas and patterns of behaviors which have become so heavily utilized by human beings that they kind of become the unconscious structure of our of our thinking. So in this trilogue, we're going to be talking about the idea that man and woman are types of trans historical archetypes. And even though they might be something like trans historical, we're still trying to uh, to get at the core of um, their emergence, their historical emergence, and how they change over time and how they how how we might relate to them in the 21st century. So in order to start a dialogue about the historical emergence of archetypes like man and woman, I wanted to sort of like last um, episode open with a um, great old thinker. And uh, for this episode, I want to um, just quote William Shakespeare. Mm. So with William Shakespeare, I, I just want to make the quote uh, where he, he said, um, all the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances. And of course he he goes on uh, and it's a much deeper um, quote about what it means to be a human and, and, and all of the different stages of life we go through. But what I wanted to emphasize in that to start a conversation with the two of you is two things. First, the world stage. Um, the world stage is something that we don't control. It's kind of something that exists as a background and we appear on it. And then the second thing I wanted to emphasize is um, the idea of a stage and actors is kind of um, signifying a drama, that there's a, a, there's a, there's, there's a play going on and we're, we're playing with each other on a stage. And so with the idea of the historical emergence of, of traditional archetypes, what I want to get at is maybe why are those archetypes logical structures, not just for the world stage we find ourselves on, say the evolutionary background of the natural world or uh, human civilization and all of the struggles and constraints that um, uh, structure human civilization, um, but also the, also the drama, the play. You know, like when we when we embody the archetype of a man or when we embody the archetype of a woman, we are playing a role. We are playing a character. Um, and why are those characters or why are those types of characters? Um, why did they work? Um, what about them worked? What about them doesn't work anymore? Um, and what space do we have to play with these archetypes given our stage? And the, and the way that the stage changes. And given our our drama, our lives, and, and the way that the drama might be changing. So that's sort of like how I wanted to open the conversation. So I'll, I'll, I don't know how, what you guys think of that. So I'll throw that to you, Kevin, first, and, yeah. and see, see what you think. Yeah, I'll jump in. This, this is a brilliant quote, Kadal, and I love that you picked that one. One of my favorite quotes of all time, actually.